All right, great. So uh, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate you being here. Uh, I'm Brian Lammers. Um, I'm gonna be joined today uh, by Neil Head who is our subject matter expert on all things uh, cloud voice and cloud conferencing. So working with our, both our hosted product on the voice side and our meet product for video and audio conferencing. So glad to have him with me today. Uh, we're gonna run through a topic that's kind of on the top of everyone's mind in the business community today is the remote work technology and how we can help your clients uh, implement those solutions uh, both now uh, in a time of great need for that and then also develop strong strategies for work from home scenarios in the future. So again, thank you for joining us. And uh, we expect we'll go probably go about uh, depending on the discussion and the questions, we'll probably go about 35, uh, 40 minutes. So we'll be able to definitely clear you out of here before four. So again, thank you. And we'll go ahead and get started just real quick about PowerNet. Uh, most of you are familiar with us, uh, but some may not be quite as familiar. So we've been uh, in the telecom industry for 28 years. Voice was kind of our uh, first product. And then as we've gone through the years and uh, about 12, 15 years ago, transitioned out of residential and completely into the commercial SMB and enterprise space. Um, so product suite has expanded significantly, uh, but we still do uh, plenty of voice products. Now it's just uh, all the IP and cloud-based but we still do the uh, traditional voice as well. We're headquartered in Cincinnati, Ohio. We have numerous offices in Florida, Utah, uh, and a couple other small satellite offices. So 24 by seven uh, base network operations center, both in Cincinnati and in the Orlando area. So really works well for your clients from a support standpoint, uh, always available for changes, questions, uh, problems, issues, uh, and just general support. Uh, we're here all day, every day, and uh, won't ship you out uh, somewhere overseas for that support. Uh, a great number of our staff uh, from an employee count standpoint is engineering. So very strong on the technical side as far as being able to work with clients and become that valued partner, uh, become that resource that they can count on uh, to help them with their technology and help them uh, do business and move forward and succeed. Uh, from a product standpoint, this is not all inclusive, but it gives you kind of a high level of uh, the types of things that we're doing for your clients. Um, you know, security obviously is a huge uh, issue these days, uh, particularly as it relates to uh, work from home. So we can help uh, clients really strengthen their security posture. Uh, to make sure that they're uh, not susceptible to hacking and intrusions and data loss, things like that. And of course, tied to that is the IT managed services. We can either help uh, an, an IT department with a particular project or with a particular piece where they're not as strong, or we can completely take over the IT functionality for an enterprise. Uh, more on our MDU, multi-dwelling unit side, and hospitality. We can deliver IPTV solutions or cell phone boosters when you've got certain types of construction, certain types of locations that are struggling with uh, cell phone reception. We can help them there with a commercial grade cell phone booster solution. Wi-Fi, we're a ruckus big dog partner. So we've deployed Wi-Fi in just about any type of environment you can think of. We've done large public venues, 
soccer stadiums, tennis stadiums, uh, zoos. We've also done manufacturing, greenhouses, uh, just a, a wide range. Schools are a big one. Um, and then, of course, voice. We've, we've always done it. We still do, do a tremendous job with that both on the traditional side and the IP side. Of course, everything's got to run off a data pipe or many of these things have to run off a data pipe. So we have numerous partnerships with uh, aggregators, tier one carriers, so we can make sure uh, your clients are serviced uh, with a strong data connection. And then we're also a Genesis partner as far as co uh, contact center software. So we can provide uh, Genesis software solutions for call centers. Of course, they're considered one of the best out there, uh, a really robust platform. And then the great thing about that Genesis solution is we can, Powernet can provide the voice termination, both inbound and outbound, and, and pay you on all those minutes as well. And then we've developed our own uh, in-house billing platform, which is completely web-based. Uh, so if you run into any clients who are looking for a billing solution, billing software, we can help them with that as well. Just a few industries that we serve, but again, not all inclusive. It's just some of the high level ones uh, that we've had particular success with. So again, kind of our three flagship products for the remote work is the, is the cloud-based phone. And Neil's going to go in, into that and you know, some of the things we can do there. So, uh, but of course I'm using it today and have been using it for a while. You know, it's just, it's great. You know, you can have a, a soft client on your desktop. You can use a headset or just use your, or your laptop speaker. Uh, you can use your iPhone or Samsung. That comes with an app that's very intuitive, very easy to use. So really from a phone standpoint, it always, you know, it's just like you were in the office, you know, your, your desk phone rings, even if your desk phone is not physically in your home, uh, it rings at the office and then, and then also can ring uh, your, your mobile phone or your desktop app. So it's very, very seamless, um, integrates with all your contacts and it just makes it very easy uh for your clients to continue to do business from that standpoint and of course video conferencing um you know remote work does isn't you know has has some negatives as far as being able to be face to face so this is this is addressing that you still like to be in front of people uh breaking bread with them even if it's over a computer um and, and seeing faces and seeing your fellow employees you know it's just it's it's just better um and, and you feel a little more connected when you can when you can see the other people you're talking to and uh so we have a great uh conferencing product cloud-based conferencing product to address that uh, that we've obviously been using very heavily uh over the past couple months and then security all of it you know it, it, all the work from home scenarios are really highlight the need for a strong security posture within an organization some folk you know we've seen folks that were prepared prepared like PowerNet was prepared for this type of uh, work from home scenario and then we've seen folks who were completely you know had nothing in place and so just to get up and running some of these folks that had no uh, plan in place for work from home, you know, they've got people using their personal desktops, their personal laptops, no firewall, no uh, two-factor authentication, and it creates a very, very scary security situation when, when they're operating in that fashion. So what we can do is bring our engineers in, bring our IT uh, and security experts in, and really help them put a plan together to make sure that even if they're, um, you know, it, not in an ideal situation, we want to make sure that we mitigate as much as we can from a security um, standpoint and, and lower the likelihood of viruses, intrusions, and, and all those things that could uh, come from uh, having a, a security that's not up to snuff there. Oops, excuse me.
I'm going to, uh, Neil, if I have you jump in for these next few and just kind of talk about some of the different products around remote work. I uh, appreciate you being on today. Thank you, Neil. Sure, not a problem. Uh, like Brian said, my name is Neil Head. I'm the SMB Solutions Lead uh, here at PowerNet. Um, Brian actually did a great job of explaining the cloud phone uh, kind of in that earlier slide. And I just want to echo uh, what he said about preparedness. Um, you know, this isn't just a, you know, COVID thing. The, the, the market is moving towards a more remote workforce. And uh, we use our own solutions in-house here at PowerNet. So um, by having that already in, in place, it, it made us uh, pushing our entire workforce home pretty much seamless. So using our own solutions, we were able to really, um, you know, miss that hiccup that a lot of people are experiencing right now. Um, he kind of hit the main points of the cloud phone here. Uh, you can use it on your desktop, Windows, uh, Mac OS, uh, or your cell phone, I, uh, iOS or Android. Um, I actually use the, the iOS one right now for, for most of our business calls. Um, it's very useful. Like you said, it rings at the same time as your phone. It can be paired with a desk phone if needed. Um, and you get all of your contacts integrated. Uh, kind of the magic with that is that because there's no hardware involved, there doesn't have to be any hardware involved. The PBX is stored in our data center. Um, we can pretty much uh, provision these very quickly, get the information sent out and have people onboarded a lot quicker than if we were doing uh, physical devices. Um, and since we're all at home, the conferencing ability is really important and our conferencing product seamlessly integrates with our cloud phone product, um, which we'll get into that in the next slide, but um, you'll see how useful that can be given uh, what we're running into. And we do have a current promotion on this one right now where we're uh, offering the premium seats at the standard seat pricing. Um, so we can get into more, more of that later, but Brian, if you want to go ahead and move to the conferencing. All right. Our uh, conferencing platform uh, is like Brian said, super important right now. It's made our transition um, to work from home. You know, it's obviously a little different, but uh someone like me, I really thrive on face-to-face -face contact. I like seeing people and, uh, you know, having an actual face-to-face -face conversation. And what we've done, we've rolled out, a, we're calling it Meet, and it's a video conferencing add-on for our uh, cloud phone. And that allows you to host meetings with up to 100 participants. Um, we have different packages that you can choose from if you don't want the full 100. Um, but it allows that face-to-face -face interaction with uh, webcams and screen sharing and and uh, pretty much all of the features you would expect from the big dogs like uh, Zoom or WebEx. Um, and that integrates uh, seamlessly, like I said, into the cloud phone. Um, and when I say I, I use this all the time, I use this all the time. We're, we're actually having uh, weekly happy hours at the end of the week. I know some of our other teams are, are having daily calls just to get that uh, camaraderie, you know, just the social aspect of working that, that kind of keeps you sane. So, this is this has actually been a lifesaver for us, and uh, we definitely want to pass that on to you all as well. Um, we've actually we're actually offering free and reduced pricing on a lot of the packages we offer, um, and uh, I think we're doing some special pricing for education, healthcare, uh, government, nonprofit sectors as well. Um, it is a very good tool, and I'm I'm glad we're able to have that ready to go. Uh, Probably one of, like Brian said, the scariest things um, about working from home is, is that you really don't have control over um, those endpoints that, that your uh, employees have. And, and we, we offer a great solution to that. It's all based on the uh, Fortinet fabric. Um, if you're not familiar, familiar with Fortinet, they're, they're a top player in, in security, always pretty highly rated in the Gartner Magic Quadrants. Um, we offer a few different solutions from them, uh, from web filtering to that VPN access to get your employees on the network, uh, intrusion prevention for that, uh, you know, live look into uh, attacks that could be happening on your network, and of course, anti-malware um, protection for the, you know, your employees' devices at the edge. Um, Brian, you want to go ahead to that next one there? Um, we have a few different scenarios that we're, we're seeing in the uh, industry. Um, 
from the least desirable option where we're not able to get endpoints uh, delivered to the employee, we don't have laptops, um, and they're establishing an SSL VPN into the network from their home computer that you have no control over. Uh, we don't want that, that's not desirable, we can't control uh, the applications that are installed, viruses and malware that may be on um, the employee's computers. Uh, we have a less desirable option that we're seeing, which is uh, people are establishing SSL VPN from their home computer um, with maybe two-factor authentication in place, and we uh, would provide antivirus software, and then we're scanning uh, office data center traffic. Um, a, a decent scenario that we're seeing is that companies are issuing laptops uh, that allow you to tunnel back to corporate firewalls with two-factor authentication. That allows us to at least control the data that's on those laptops, you know, have that anti-malware in place, restrict what applications can be installed, and, and filter that web traffic. Um, that's, that's probably the most common that I'm personally seeing. And, um, you know, there, there's not, if, if that's all we can have control over, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but an ideal workforce, uh, what we would do in a, in a semi-permanent uh, remote work would be to provide an actual firewall appliance at that home network that can tunnel back um, to the corporate firewall. Uh, and we create that VPN automatically and all traffic is inspected and, uh, and filtered. And that gives us control over the laptop uh, if we have an IP phone on the home network um, and any other devices that could be connected back to the office, we have full visibility and control over that. All right, I think I'll go ahead and pass it back to, to Brian to continue on. Great. Thank you, Neil. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, Neil and his team were just tremendous uh, as far as the uh, you know, customer facing. He's always very willing, and as we, as we all are at PowerNet, uh, very willing to hop on a call with your potential client or your existing client and really work through what their vision is, what they're looking to do, and, and put the proper solutions behind that. So um, that is one of the great things about our engineering staff is a, a great majority of them are, are uh, very good as far as being able to talk at the client's level about these type of things, uh, not talk over their heads and really just stay uh, keyed in on the brass tacks, the important things that the client is looking to do and, uh, and not muddy the waters with a bunch of technical talk. So. They know all that technical stuff, but they also know how to talk to clients. And so anytime, uh, you know, you have an opportunity, we are always willing to engage Neil and his team uh, or any other type of Wi-Fi engineers, um, IPTV, whatever it may be. Um, that's kind of what we, we really pride ourselves on being channel focused. We have been channel focused throughout our entire existence. And, and that's what we're here to do is we do not take lightly when you give us an opportunity. You're putting your reputation on the line and, um, and we want to make sure we keep that bar high and we keep that standard high and we do our very best uh, to put together something that the client's going to be very happy with. So, um, you know, from uh, we've seen how, how important remote work has gotten. Again, as I said a little bit earlier, I think it was moving that way anyway. It's just, uh, you know, the, the, um, the virus situation put, put everything into high gear. Uh, but I think a lot of clients are going to be looking, you know, we've worked with, and it's been very, very positive. It's just, you know, when you've got something like this going on, of course, uh, you know, in an office environment and in a technology space, we're not nurses, we're not doctors, we're not doing uh, the frontline stuff that those uh, heroes are doing, but it is very um, gratifying to get on a call with a client who is struggling uh, with their remote work scenario and really get in there and put something together for them so that they can continue to do business. Again, it's not, uh, it's not necessarily saving lives or anything like that. And uh, don't, I don't make it out to be that, but it, it does give you a level of satisfaction to be, to be able to help people uh, in their business environment. So, and, and I think going forward, um, 
people are again going to be looking to put these things in strategically uh, and not in a reactionary mode so that they're ready to go um, if something like this ever happens again or some other scenario even even a weather event in certain parts of the country can can cause this type of need to be there uh, so we want to we really want to help people put that plan in place and uh, help you get your clients ready for those types of things uh, so of course business continuity um, you know downtime is dollars uh, we have to make sure that um, any remote type scenario just as it did here internally at PowerNet doesn't cause any hiccups doesn't slow down business and then um, you know eat make it easy for for these new remote employees uh, I would say you know the power net uh, us transitioning to remote work was very smooth from the technical side it's all these uh, and I'm sure many of you can relate relate to this it's all these domestic things of you know dogs barking and children running around and and all the things um, so we want to try and at least make the technology standpoint very smooth and, and leave that as an easy transition so that they can handle those other challenges we can't control um, and of course staying as we both said staying uh, face to face with clients um, that's that's important um, and staying face to face with fellow employees uh, is is really key to kind of keeping your spirits up, kind of keeping those relationships uh, growing and deepening. And uh, to some degree, the same thing is reduce the feeling of isolation. You know, they can uh, still connect to clients and, and, and fellow employees uh, so they don't feel like they're kind of out on an island out there. And then of course, the security side is of utmost importance um, because if you've got, if you've got folks who are are thrown into a situation where they have to have their employees using their home computers to connect back to corporate. That's obviously a, a huge security risk. And so we want to make sure we've got all that short, short up um, and, and put the things in place to, to keep the security very strong. Um, you know, one of the great things about our, our cloud based solutions that Neil was talking about is is it's so easy um you know we're not talking about putting fiber circuits in or, or, or you know waiting for ports from other carriers for phone numbers and we can move these things up and down very quickly as far as adding new users adding new functionality uh that's needed it's all done uh on our ba uh, basically in our data cloud so as far as changes, ads, again, and, and, and functionality, all that can be changed very quickly on the fly. You've got a, one employee goes away, uh, two more get hired. Uh, we, can, we can do those things in, in hours. So, And then, of course, um, you know, as I spoke a little bit earlier about how the uh, how this, this kind of full technology solution, something that's very cohesive, that's multi-product, is really gonna help you from a recurring revenue standpoint and um, you know, help dr drive your commissions upwards, help keep those clients longer, uh, have those clients more satisfied with a single point of contact for any of their technology needs. I mean, that's a huge, huge thing that, that we're seeing uh, with clients is they're so tired of managing uh, difficult vendors or multiple vendors. And um, they're really just looking for someone who, who cares and someone who will take care of their problems, take care of their pain points, and you know put that full uh, technology solution together. So, so if they have an issue or question or problem or anything changes, it's, it's one number to call, uh, one account management team uh, that can handle everything for them. And then um, just, just to be clear, most of you are very familiar with how, how committed PowerNet is to the agent channel and um, just how we operate from a very ethical standpoint in that fashion. So 
if if you bring a client on, but some of you may be newer. Uh, so if you bring a client on and you you propose a certain two products and we sell them those two products, well, if if six months down the road they they're hey we need a cell phone booster um, when we and they come direct to us when we provide that solution to them yeah you're still paid on the, so whether you're involved in the additional sales or not uh, those commissions will all be rolled to you so uh, just there's an you know myriad of 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 course education has just been thrown into a kind of uh, uh thrown for a loop here um we just got the word yesterday the day before kids are out of school for the rest of the year so all the distance learning um so schools we've we've really seen a lot of growth there from a wi-fi um and hosted phone standpoint um, not just recently, but in the last five years. So we've sold numerous uh, large high schools because technology is really uh, such a part of the curriculum today. So they need very strong um, technology solutions within a campus. And um, so a lot of growth there in education. And of course, with everything we're dealing with now, that that just raises that, that need. And um, so healthcare, of course, uh, from a uh, um, HIPAA compliance standpoint, we can help with all of that. At a security standpoint, like Neil said, we use uh, Fortinet for the firewalls, and we very, believe very strongly in their security fabric and everything they've put together. You know, they're very uh, strong on engineering at Fortinet and just been a tremendous partner for us. Uh, churches, obviously, you know, and we can go through all these. I'm not going to uh, spend a whole lot of time, but even even before all of this, churches were were webcasting services. Um, you know, they have a, a lot more technolo technological needs than than they used to. Uh, we have a, a huge church here in, in Cincinnati that has, I think, four or five different campuses throughout the throughout the city. And uh, they all need to be connected. They all need to have very strong audio visual solutions. Uh, they have these huge coffee shops and atriums. Everything needs to be Wi-Fi enabled. So we can help do that front to back. Their, their job is to do what their mission is. And, and, and we can really help just handle everything from a technology standpoint. So they don't need to worry about that, that type of thing. <laughs> of course, um, you know, people that have been forced into work from home uh, due to the current situation are, are going to, you know, have needs. Um, and even if they've got something in place as kind of a Band-Aid today, you know, that's a good conversation to have because, you know, we can help work with them to create a really strategic and strong and cohesive uh product or suite of products around work from home so maybe they got maybe they already got a good promotional deal through somebody else uh, that's a short-term thing uh, but you know we can really sit down with them and put something together for the long term and, and keep it um, you know keep them rolling it in any kind of future work from home scenarios uh, companies with multiple branch locations that's huge from you know the IP phone standpoint it is you know it's it's all very seamlessly connected uh, so the you know the communication between the branches is very strong and um, you know we can we can make sure we we engineer that uh, for for the maximum efficiency there and then as I said companies with uh, compliance re requirements uh, these, you know, these work from home, you know, if you've got a set, if you're a, a company that has to uh, adhere to HIPAA or PCI compliance, and you've got employees who are working from home, there's challenges there. You have to have the right things in place to make sure that that compliance, um, you know, that the, they're up to stuff, up to snuff on the auditors and, and everything that they want to see from a compliance standpoint. 
and we can we can help them through those types of things. Uh, some of the you know some of the business card titles you might see that uh, would be good to talk to about these type of things. They're over there on the left, um, and then uh, you know just remote you know, remote workers, video conferencing, and, and security. It's it's just a huge thing as far as protecting data. Uh, again, work from home and remote work can be very, very positive, but it can also, from a security standpoint, uh, leave leave companies open to hacking and uh, other type of intrusion. So we want to make sure that's all bolted down very strongly. Uh, just a few scoping questions. You know, really, you, you all know you, you you're experienced salespeople. You know all. It comes down to having a conversation. I'm not going to read through all these, and you, you probably have better ones. But um, you know, it's really just having about, about having that discussion. Is is what kind of what kind of pain points are you experiencing now with this uh, remote work, or is your company thinking about moving to a more uh, you know a one day a week or two day a week remote work from uh, work from home? And so really starting to dig into what they're looking at from a business vision standpoint and, and finding out if there's uh, something that we can have a conversation with them about. And again, we are always willing to jump on a phone call with them, talk through it. If it's a good fit, wonderful. If it's not, we'll let them know. We won't waste anybody's time. Um, but uh, just know that we're always willing uh, to to work with your clients and, and find out if we can deliver on the vision that they're looking for. <clears throat> Discussed a little bit about this. Um, I'm going to have, I think, in the next slide or the slide after, uh, my contact information will be there, uh, as, along with Jason, who uh, kind of manages on our West Coast from an agent manager standpoint, and Nolan and Penny, you'll get everybody's contact information and you'll get a recording of, of this webinar as well. So it, it, we really don't care who you reach out to. Um, obviously certain, we would like you to develop relationships with uh, folks that are closer to you uh, geographically, uh, but any of us are willing to help. Um, and, and we'll, we'll reach out to Neil, we'll reach out to our Wi-Fi design team, uh, we'll reach out to, um, you know, our point-to-point -point wireless uh, team and whoever we need to get involved, uh, we can kind of quarterback that with you and the client and make sure that we are putting together uh, a solution that's going to meet their needs. So we do offer one-on-one -on -one product training. Anytime you want to dig deeper, if, if some of those products back on slide two or three, uh, you didn't know we did before and, and you maybe run across an opportunity or something, uh, whether it be IPTV or Wi-Fi or anything, uh, and you want to dive deeper into one of those products, just give me a call, give Jason a call, um, and, and we'll get that done. And we'll either do it ourselves or we'll get engineering involved and kind of work that through and find out um, and help you understand more about the solutions we offer. A lot of marketing materials on our, uh, our website has just gotten a refresh. I would really recommend if you have not been on PowerNet Co, it's powernetco.com. If you haven't been out there lately, go out there. It's, it's tremendous. Our marketing department is really um, the, the great thing about our marketing department is they're really, really connected to sales. A lot of times sales and marketing are on different planets. They're not doing the same things. They're not being strategic. Ours is very strong. Um, they work very well with sales, finding out what we need, um, what our, you know, what our channel needs as far as uh, case studies and, you know, just different types of product information and why it matters. Um, so I would recommend taking a look at our website and it really gives you a good snapshot of the different uh, solutions we can provide. And, and just a little bit more uh, real quick on, on the products. And again, uh, we understand you guys develop these relationships with clients and we're not looking to make 
anybody necessarily an expert and don't feel like you have to be an expert. It's again, just opening up that discussion and then get us involved and we will, we will help you uh, make those sales. So that's what we're here for. Uh, and then <laughs> reach out to me uh, directly. I, we don't have the exact pricing and, um, and commissioning because we have different, different types of folks on today's call. Um, so we didn't just throw it out here on the, uh, on the presentation, but reach out to myself or Jason or Nolan, and uh, we'll make sure to get you uh, what you need as far as what our different meet promos are, what our different hosted phone promos are, and um and get you squared away there so we do have some nice pricing going on right now and again uh clients are always looking to save money but that's certainly not the end all be all and that's that's kind of how PowerNet tends to separate itself is we want a good price we want to give you guys a good price uh, but it really comes down to the customer experience um and and really limiting their pain points and making sure they feel supported uh, they feel like this is a, a partnership versus just a vendor. And um, so we'll go, we'll go from there. Yeah, just reach out to us directly and we'll make sure we'll get you the, the particular promos and, and all the details on that.